What's up guys? And you fuck. What's going on guys? And your good friend Fury Pixel. Today I'm going to do a full review of the Ballista Trinity Gamer Speakers from Ibermedia. It's gonna be a really great video, so let's get started. Nothing is better than enjoy your gaming, listen music, or just watch movies with a ultimate sound quality. And the Ballista Trinity Gaming speakers are a great option with a low price and an excellent audio quality. Starting off with a quick unboxing, the speaker box comes with a great and solid design like all Ibermedia products. The first looks after opening the box will be a quick guide of the cable management, which is really useful and easy to understand thanks to the graphics. Inside of the box we are going to find the info pocket, a small bag with some rubber feet, one RCA to 3.5mm cable and one 3.5mm audio cable. Then we are gonna find two satellite speakers which have 14.5 watts per channel with a kind of futuristic spaceship design highlighting the low in the middle of the speakers. Also comes with a 48 watt subwoofer giving 77 watts of total power to all the speakers. And something I really like is that all the speakers have rubber feet which will allow better stability on any surfaces. The last thing we are going to find is the control box. And taking a look into his specs, in the front we are going to find the power and assassin mode button, which I will talk about this one more later. The source switch which will allow us to select between the auxiliar, the primary input and the line in. Down of them, or in the left side, we are going to find the balloon, bass and treble knob, and three 3.5mm jacks for the headphones, microphone and one input line. On the back we have a second microphone jack, the auxiliar in, we also will find the output for the speakers and the subwoofer, and of course our power cable. I place the satellite speakers right behind my monitor. The subwoofer in the bottom corner of my desk and the control box in my right hand in front of me for fast access. Overall these speakers have a great design and a lot to offer, so it's time to test it. First of all, we are going to test the speakers without the assassin mode and after that the assassin mode. What we do the assassin mode, the thing we do is cut the peaks of the shape wave and we give a more knitted and powerful audio. Let's listen and choose which is the favorite. This audio is without assassin mode, if you see it's really powerful. Like I said, I really like these speakers actually, the, the sound is incredible. But now I'm going to change to assassin mode, the first thing you are going to notice is the balloon wheel down. But don't worry about that, it's so easy, like just level up the balloon and you will get it back. And this is the assassin mode, if you see and notice the audio is more powerful and more cut, with more punch. And actually, in my personal opinion, I prefer the assassin mode for music than the normal mode. Okay guys, so now we are gonna test the, the audio with the PlayStation 4, I'm gonna play Star Wars Battlefront. And the same, and we are going to compare which mode is better for gaming. Now I'm gonna test the assassin mode in the same volume, the same everything.
So that was the test in gaming. I really like more the sun in gaming without the assassin mode. So more strong. But of course, if I want something more neat and more powerful, even the volume is a little more low, I will use the assassin mode. Okay, guys, so it's time to test the speakers with movies. And for that, I choose my one of my favorite series in Netflix, which is Marco Polo. This is the 100 Eyes. So let's listen how it's first without assassin mode. And now we are going to see the same is seen with assassin mode. I really like more how is the audio with assassin mode for the movies and the music but in gaming I really prefer more the normal mode I really like to have more volume when I'm gaming but like I said this is my personal opinion and if you ever test these speakers let me know down below in the comments which is your opinion of these ones and that was my review of the Ballista Trinity Gamer speakers I hope you like it as well like me and remember guys if you have any question or just want to share what you think about these speakers let me know down below in the comments and if you like the video don't forget to click the happy hand share and subscribe that will help me a lot and you won't miss any of my fucking new videos and your good friend Philly Pixel see you next time Rubon is short young wen